Hello, welcome back to the channel. The story I'm going to be reading today was written by one of my subscribers, Wolfpack. Thank you Wolfpack for allowing me to read your story and for contributing to my channel. If you would like to check out the story for yourself, you can find the story in my channel's discord. The link to my discord can be found in my channel's description. In the discord, not only will you find this story, but you will find other stories written by Wolfpack and these stories are only available in the channel's discord. So again, thank you Wolfpack for allowing me to read your story, I appreciate it greatly. A little over a year ago, I was at a garage sale that was close to my house. My neighbor was selling some random crap in his house and seeing as to how he had a lot of stuff. I wanted to see what I could get. When I went to the sale, I found a few things I thought I could use. A reading light, a lamp I planned to give to my parents on their anniversary, a few pieces of silverware, and a copy of Super Mario All-Stars. This caught my eye. I never really thought my neighbor would be the kind of person to own a Mario game. He wasn't married and he didn't have any kids. So I assumed that the cartridge was from his childhood. I asked him how much it was. He simply looked at the cartridge and said that I could have it for $16.50. Given how hard it was for me to find, I gave him what I got, but it meant putting a few forks back where I found them. When I got home, I put everything away except the cartridge, the lamp I would hold onto for a few days. So I just put that on a counter near my door. I dug around my basement and found my old SNES, a bit dusty, but still in good shape. I got it out of the basement and plugged it into the TV. I turned it on, blew on the cartridge, set it in the SNES, and booted up the game. However, the game was different from what I was told it was supposed to be. I was told there was a coin icon with Mario's face that would appear once you started up the game. For me, I just saw a normal coin. Mario's face wasn't on it. When I got to the start menu, Mario, Browser, and Peach weren't there. Luigi, Beardo, Yoshi, and Toad looked somewhat sad. I figured that this was some sort of hackett cartridge, and I hit start. When I got to the game select, I was only able to choose the first Super Mario Bros. game. The other games were simply blank black boxes and I wasn't able to choose them. I selected the first Mario Brothers game. I was put in world 1 slash 1 as Luigi. I wasn't given a select option for one player or two players. It just put me in the game as Luigi. Odd, but I decided screw it, Luigi is my favorite anyway so I might as well. As I went through the level, there wasn't as many enemies as I thought there would be. There was only a few Goombas in the level, and only one Koopa Troopa. Still, I pressed it on, and made it to the flagpole. The flag looked old, to say the least. The flag was a grayish white color instead of normal white as if it was very old. When I got to 1 slash 2, some things were normal. There still wasn't the usual amount of enemies, but I still made it. When I got to the end, I went too far on the platform, and I was unable to go to the shortcut to 4 slash 1. I took the normal way and beat the level. 1 slash 3 was around the same, not a lot of enemies, but I still beat it regardless. I even got a mushroom from that world and I moved it on to the next world. In the first fight with Bowser, 
I got through the castle with ease. I made my way to Bowser and I managed to beat him. When I got to the toad, I got a different message instead of the usual princess being in another castle. I'm sorry for your loss. I know you're hurting, but please save our princess. I was confused. What loss is he talking about? I got to world 2 slash 1 after this and continued on like normal. I kept playing the game although there wasn't as many enemies as there was supposed to be. When I got to the Bowser fight at the end of each world, each toad said the same thing. I'm sorry for your loss. I know you're hurting, but please save the princess. Eventually, I got to the final fight with Bowser. I won, obviously, and saved the princess. Instead of thanking me and telling me about the new quest, she said something else. Thank you for saving me. Is there anything I can do to help you? After this, the game cut to black and a text box popped it up saying, the next chapter has been unlocked. Play? Y slash N. I hit Y, curious on what it meant. I was then sent to the start of Super Mario Bros. 2, again as Luigi. No character selection, just Luigi. From here, the game was mostly normal. Yes, some enemies and power-ups were missing, but everything was almost the same. That is, until the fight with King Wart. When I got to the fight with King Wart, a text box popped up saying, Where are you? You should have been there. Why? Now I was very confused. I battled King Wart and after losing a life, I beat him. After I beat King Wart, I was again greeted with a text box saying, The next chapter has been unlocked. Play? Y slash N. I hit play, expecting to be greeted by Super Mario Bros. 3, and I was right. I was, like the previous game, thrown into the game as Luigi. When I got to the first level, there was, of course, only a few enemies and a handful of power-ups. The Toad's house was also changed as well. The text box read, I'm sorry, you may have anything you want, if it helps. I selected a chest and got a fire flower. After leaving the toad's house, I continued my journey. When I was about to boom Boom's castle, I was surprised to find that it was already rubble. Someone had already beaten it. I was confused and happy at the same time, but hey, I got to skip a whole mini boss fight, so I press it on. When I got to the first castle, I was given a different text box than what I was supposed to get. Someone turned the king back into an animal. Please help turn him back. I was shown a cutscene where Luigi jumped it onto the hook of a ship, and I assumed this was the first mini boss I'd get to fight. However, instead of the usual Iggy Copa boss fight, I was fighting one of his siblings, Lemmy. Regardless, I won the fight and got the wand. When the king was turned back, he said this, I thank you for turning me back. Is there anything I can do? I was shown a letter from the princess that read, Luigi, I'm so sorry for your loss. I know I may not be able to help you, but I want you to know that I miss him too. The next few worlds have been saved by him, so you don't really need to do anything for them. I have attached something that may be of use to you. It was a Tanuki suit. I wasn't expecting something as rare as that, but I press it on. I was able to skip worlds 1 slash 4 and arrive on world 5. I beat the level like normal despite knowing that this wasn't a normal game. When I got to Boom Boom's castle, it wasn't destroyed this time, so I had to do the mini boss fight. When I got to Boom Boom, 
he immediately charged at me as if someone hit him twice already. I hit him once and just like that I won. I thought this was odd but hey I beat the mini boss. However this time I got a wand as if I beat a Koopalin. I was then in the castle and the same text box greeted me. I thank you for turning me back. Is there anything I can do? I was given a letter but this time it was Bowser telling me the princess was taken. When I got there, I was thrown into the final world. I used my Tanuki suit and started to make my way to the castle. It took a very long time but I got to the castle. When I got to Bowser, I had lost my Tanuki suit and was down to my second life. But I thankfully managed to succeed in beating him. However, I received a text box saying, I'm almost there, it's not over yet. The screen cut to black and I got a text box saying, the final chapter has been unlocked, play Y slash N. When I hit yes, I was thrown into Super Mario World again as Luigi. But this time, he had an expression on his face. He looked both sad and determined at the same time. When I hit start, I was immediately thrown into the final world, just before the fight with Bowser. I entered the level and began to go to Bowser preparing for the fight. As I walked to the level, the music began to distort, not too much like the EXE crap, I mean the music just had a deeper pitch. Luigi's face turned into anger as he prepared to fight and the fight commenced it like normal just with Luigi looking angry. When the final toy bomb exploded in Bowser's vehicle, the princess wasn't there. However, as soon as I beat Bowser, Luigi began to walk right on his own, and the screen moved with him. When he and the screen stopped it moving, both Luigi and the princess were standing next to something gruesome. They stood over something dark, with it looking like it was stomped on. Next to the thing was a hat, a text popped up and it read, Goodbye, brother. Luigi's face turned sad and he began to cry as the princess comforted him. The credits rolled but this time all that was shown behind the credits was a tombstone with Mario's hat on it. Now I understood everything. Mario had died. He was killed by Bowser when trying to save Peach. Luigi wasn't just trying to save the princess, he was trying to recover his brother's body and give him a proper funeral. And the reason why there wasn't as many enemies in everything was because Mario already beat them. I shed a tear. I witnessed a brother's journey to reclaim his brother's body and finish the mission that cost him his life. I took the cartridge out of the SNES and I put it in my basement. As much as I love Luigi, I didn't want to see him suffer and grieve. He didn't deserve that. He may be the Mario brother that everyone forgets, but nevertheless, he's still Mario's brother.